Hello everybody, this is Gear to you, and welcome back to Let's Play New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. In the previous episode, we finished off the Soda Jungle. And I feel ripped off because I went through that entire world 100% and I did not get any soda. Mm. <laughs> and in today's episode, we'll be going inside Rock Candy Mines. Or, or excuse me, Rock Hyphen Candy Mines. You cannot forget the hyphen. They are an important part of punctuation. But everybody always forgets about them. It's it's really depressing. Going inside the first level, we'll be going towards Fuzzy Cliff Top. Alrighty then. So we be introduced to we be we will be introduced to a few new enemies over here. I don't think we've seen a fuzzy before in this series, but. If you played Mario, you've likely already seen a fuzzy at some point in your life, because these guys are in pretty much every Mario game ever. Kind of, sort of. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, I don't remember third Mario Odyssey or not. But anyway, <laughs> these enemies are pretty fun. I like their character design. They look kind of crazy with their eyes, and they look kind of cute. They honestly kind of make me think of Monster Zink in a way. So we go over here, get the first star coin, and there's a cup of chupa over there we can eat. I thought that was a wall we can break, but it apparently wasn't. I think the wall that we're supposed to break was over here or somewhere. Eh, it probably is, now that I'm looking at it a bit more, but it's not important right now. What is important right now is we need to be careful, otherwise the fuzzies will hurt our feelings. It's not very nice. I don't like it when they hurt my feelings. They pick on me and call me names and take my lunch money. <laughs> And Yoshi has given us a one-up, oh yeah. Go over here and collect the checkpoint flag, and go inside the warp pipe. You could go over here if you want, I believe that's supposed to be your exit out of there, so... Yay, I just spoiled something, and you will never forgive me. This right here pretty much requires either a Yoshi or a flying ability. I don't know if you can do this with Nabbit, if you're, unless you're on Yoshi or something like that. I don't even know if, you, if Nabbit can use Yoshi, I'm gonna have to check that off screen, but... Yeah, you're basically gonna want either of those because you can either jump on the fuzzies with Yoshi or fly there with the flying score suit. Again, I don't remember if Nabbit can do that, I'm gonna have to check that off screen. And if that's the case, then either have captain or footage on screen here. It's very fascinating indeed. And it looks a little bit fancier because- No, 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 no! <laughs> Yoshi! Nabbit can't ride Yoshi. <laughs> I feel so bad for Yoshi! <laughs> oh my goodness, that's kind of horrible. I feel bad for Yoshi. <laughs> Back to where we were a moment ago. We want to do next for this uh, final star coin in the level. You want to use the ice blocks to defeat these enemies. This one can be a little bit of a jerk to figure out, but if you have skills like me, then you will be stuck here for 20 minutes trying to figure that out. Because <laughs> that's how long it took me to figure out when I was practicing for this video. It might be a slight exaggeration, but... Uh, well, it's my story, I can tell however I want. And I'm gonna say it took 20 minutes because that sounds funny. <laughs> be careful around here, because uh, even if you can bounce off the, the fuzzies, you can still you lose your Yoshi around here, which is not very pleasant at all. I believe there is a secret thing down there? It looks like there is something coming out on the wall, but it's nothing important because, at least according to my notes, there's no secret exit over there, so it's probably just something that leads you to coins or something like that. But now we're taking care of all that. That's the end of the level. And that's gonna be for this episode of New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I always love doing that. Thanks a million for our help! Here, take this! It's no use! Take this! It's no use! <laughs>And this is uh, the primary gameplay mechanic of the Rock Hyphen Candy Mines. These switches 
will change the level layout, kind of. Not exactly, more so just these things. But I mean, now on towards uh, me forgetting to change characters. <laughs> Now moving on to Rock Hyphen Candy Mines Hyphen 2. This is the second level of uh, the Rock Hyphen Candy Mines, and we need to be careful because it's an, it's um it's certainly a level. First of all, I'm gonna go over here. It starts right away. Okay, that is my least favorite enemy in the game. It's really, really obnoxious to deal with. Basically what it's going to do is that it's going to swim really fast from side to side, and when it starts going in from the right, like it is right now, it's going to jump out of the water. This enemy sucks. I really, really do not like this thing. And it seems like pretty much every new Super Mario Bros. game has to have some kind of level like this, and I don't understand why. It drives me crazy in every single new Super Mario Bros. game when they have to bring back this stupid mechanic. So we need to be careful about this enemy. Just keep an eye out for when it's going to be moving. Its pattern is fairly predictable. It's just a matter of actually accomplishing things. Alright, be careful. We can, I believe we can go in a little bit further in the level without having to worry about star coins or anything like that. Be careful. That was a scary experience! We lost it immediately. This fish sucks. Now we know what it feels like to be James. I would do the quote, but this is a family friendly channel and I'm not going to swear! I really, really hate this thing. I hate this stupid fish. Even if you kill it, it spawns immediately. Why? Why do you do the things that you do, fish? It's not nice. Hopefully we can get another good power up uh, a little bit into the level. I imagine Nabbit would probably have an easy time with that area. With that star coin, the urchins, all that stuff! Get away from me! It always spawns at the most inconvenient times! Why is this a thing? Why are you allowed to exist, huh? Who said you could be in this game? I hate that stupid fish. 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 I went ahead and used a fire flower that was in my inventory. This is, ne this is never going to be a better opportunity to use it. This stupid fish is stupid, and I don't like it, and it's evil, and I. No, 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 just no. No, it's not invited to my birthday party. It's not invited to Disney World. It's not invited to my graduation when I finally graduate college. It's not gonna get a job promotion. I'm gonna fire it if it ever tries to work for my company. I'm going to blacklist it so it can never work on Broadway. I'm going to poke its eyeball. There's no reason why, I just feel like doing it. <laughs> This fish is evil, and if it was not 3 in the morning or whatever time I'm recording this video at, I would be screaming at this thing, but I have neighbors and I need to be considerate, so you get off the hook this time, fish. Not the good off the hook, but, you know. <laughs> Alright. I really, really hate this stupid fish. Trust me, Rock Candy Mines is a pretty fun world. It's just, that stupid enemy really kills my motivation to want to play this place. I never look forward to this world. I 
want to forget about it. I want to forget about this stupid enemy. I don't want to ever appear in another Mario game ever. Can we never have it again? <laughs> it's almost over, Gator. It's almost over. The fish are gone. The bad fish can't hurt you anymore. We did it. We beat the level. Oh no, the path has been blocked. Well, luckily, there's a blue switch right here. <gasps> a launch title for the Wii U? Foreshadowed Nintendo Switch? <laughs> I would say I'm just kidding, but something kind of funny to think about is that the very first uh, trailer for the Wii U kind of foreshadowed the Switch because it says Switch screens with a new controller or something like that. It's really fun to think about no 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 not this level not this one not this place no anything but this I'll take back the fish okay we'll go back that I won't go that far but why this place and I already scared up. Grinding Stone Tower. It's a very appropriate name because this level really grinds my gears. We gotta be careful about this enemy because... Not, well, yeah, we gotta be careful about the enemies, but... Uh, we gotta be careful about this level because... Uh, oh boy! It may seem easy to avoid those rolling thingies right now. I'm very bad at remembering Mario enemy names, apparently. But... <laughs> Ugh. Okay, well, we go over here. Inside of this is a mini mushroom. It made me thinking, well, it's just going to be another one of those things where it may seem important uh, or for maybe like one star, one star coin or something like that. Nope. Oh boy. Do I have a surprise for you? The last star coin and the secret exit want you to go through this entire place with a mini mushroom. Ain't that just peachy? So we need to be careful about this. So we need to keep an eye out for these enemies. Make sure they don't do anything stupid. Oh boy, I guess it gets to redo that one when I go for secret exits or regular exits or however I'm going to edit this video. Ah, boy. Super Mushrooms are gonna be your worst enemy ever. If you pick them up, you lose the Mini Mushroom. It's not very nice at all. But basically what you wanna do is you need to keep an eye out on where these things are gonna be rolling around. Take your time, learn the patterns of these enemies, and don't be a dummy. Nobody wants to be a gator. <laughs> Alright, so let's be careful about this. When you go up here, my word of advice is to stay on the right side of the platform. I was about to say that I ne rarely ever see them go on the left side, but I was proven wrong. Thank you, game, for proving me wrong. I should not have made that, but then I did. That was pure skills. And that's skills with a Z. Mm. And that uh, tiny warp pipe is the reason why you need to go throughout this entire area with a mini mushroom. And ain't that just gonna be fun? On a bit of a more positive note, I gotta say, I love the design for these enemies. <laughs> They're just so cute. <laughs> they have the doofiest grin ever. They're like, uh -huh, look at me, I'm rolling around. Uh -huh. They honestly look like a character from like a Hanna-Barbera cartoon or something like that. Or like Tom and Jerry or Looney Tunes or something like that. Was Looney Tunes Hanna-Barbera? I know they did Scooby-Doo. I don't know my cartoon lore, apparently. <laughs> cartoon lore. And that will take us to the secret exit of this world. 
But let's go back inside, get that last star coin, and finish this level the normal way. So as we go back over this area, I just gotta say, first of all, if you're trying to go through here with the mini mushroom, do not hit this checkpoint flag. Because if you do, and you die, you gotta go find some other level to die so that you can reset and get another mini mushroom. So don't hit that flagpole if you're trying to go through the secret exit. And also, I gotta say, you kids with your, with your fancy Wii U's and your Nintendo Switches and all that good stuff, you have it easy. Back in my generation, when we played with the Nintendo DS on that version of New Super Mario Brothers, if we wanted 100% the game, we had to not only go through the entire castle with the Mini Mushroom, we had to be the boss of that castle to get the Mini Mushroom to even access some of the worlds in those games. So you kids with your fancy Wii U's and Nintendo Switch and all that good stuff, you better appreciate the fact that you only have to use a mini mushroom to get this secret exit or something like that. <laughs> but anyway, now let's go inside the boss door and who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Who will it be? Oh, <gasps> Boom Boom! That is a surprising turn of events that I did not see coming. You'll never see it coming. <laughs> Alright then, so Boom Boom now has uh, some wings. And he's still super easy to fight. You just need to jump a little bit sooner than usual, otherwise he'll jump really high into the sky. Like that. But again, not that hard. I want to time it one of these days. I want to time the average of how long it takes to be Boom Boom compared to how long it takes to beat the fourth dungeon boss in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, the Game Boy version. It's a little bit harder on the Switch remake, but it takes like less than a minute. You can defeat that boss twice in less than a minute on the Game Boy Color version. So now we're taking care of all that, we're in this video off here. So thank you all so much for watching this episode of New Super Mario Bros. Deluxe. In the next video, we'll be taking care of this batch of levels, starting with Thrilling Spine Coaster. And next time, we need to gear to you. Oh yeah.